introduction of the new Seaburg Guide draws ever nearer. In truth, it has been a long and very difficult project, a project that has already spanned 15 years, and most of those 15 years have been devoted to the production of no less than 239 full colour plates. The 239 full colour art plates comprise over 3,800 individual images. This could arguably be the most lavishly illustrated field guide of any time or of any generation. The art plates are the very heart and soul of the book. To create one takes time, care and lots of patience. Whenever I'm painting a bird, my number one priority is to bring that bird, that figure that's on the page, to life. If I'm painting a towering gadfly petrel, I want the seabirder to feel the tightness of its bent and angled wings as it careens over the ocean in its wild, impetuous flight, the so-called winged runners. Conversely, if I am painting a white-faced storm petrel with its trailing legs and frequent splashdowns, it should have the feel of a dancing butterfly in a flower-filled August garden. Most of the plates in the book are what we call two-species plates or half-plates. We have one species on the bottom, one species on the top. And most of those pairings are what we call confusion pairs, that is, birds that look alike, as you can see with the two puffins in front of you. They may also occur together. This may come as a surprise to many people, but the hardest part of creating a plate is not about painting the figures. It's about the layout and the detail. First of all, starting with lots and lots of tracings, and then whittling those down to the figures that you want. And then the real test, the one that often fails first time, is getting them to all fit together on the plate. The most critical stage in any plate is the painting of that first figure. It has to be correct, it has to be lively, it has to capture the jizz, the essence of the bird itself. All artists are different. For me, I always start with the eye. That has to be alive, it has to be alert. Then comes the bill, then comes the head, then wings and tail follow. Each figure takes about two hours to paint. Watercolour is an unforgiving mistress, but I've learnt to dance with her, and two hours is about what I need to complete a single figure. With figure one in place and you're happy with it, now it's simply a question of standing at the easel, painting hour after hour, day after day, until the plate is complete. On average, eight to ten figures per species or half plate. There have been many events that have occurred during our 15 years of production, but let me share with you the greatest event of all, a real landmark day. The completion of this Storm Petrel half plate was a milestone, an epic moment in the production. This was the very last plate to be painted, and it was finished in May of 2020. And now the project is almost over. And we are just weeks away from the publication of what I consider to be my life's most important work, Seabirds, the new identification guide. Mm -hmm.